What is up, YouTube? New Scar here. In this video, we're going to finish off the cooling for this car. So that's going to include the oil cooler, power steering cooler, finishing up all the lines for the radiator, including the return for the turbo. So let's get started. So I know in the last video I said that I was going to work on the exhaust today, but I decided to switch it up. Um, it made more sense to do it in this order. That way, uh, well, you guys will see why. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I got the oil cooler bolted up. This is pretty much where it's gonna sit. It's a, I believe it's a 36 row oil cooler. I'm gonna need all the cooling in the world since the turbos are very taxing on the cooling system. I'm using the OEM stud that's on the front end. And then as you saw, I just did a rib nuts and I put a bolt there. So just two bolts, should be more than sufficient. I'm probably gonna run the lines going down to that area somewhere around here and then up and to the oil filter housing but we got a problem now the oem non-m oil filter housing doesn't really have any provisions to run your oil lines to typically with cars if you have the traditional oil filter you can run a sandwich adapter but because of the way the filter is designed you can't really do that some people go with the m3 setup which uh, you have a way to to run the lines but uh we found a better solution with this adapter from Rally Road. And it turns out it doesn't fit. That oil filter cap is for the E36 only, so it won't work for this. So I have one on order from uh, Trip HQ. It's uh, the PMC oil filter cap, so we're gonna wait on that. Uh, in the meantime, we can, uh, can at least mock up some lines. Yeah, let's do that. So this is where I'm going to mount my power steering cooler. Um, I'm gonna mount it with one of these uh, these tie things that were provided. There was a second one, but I lost it. So I'm gonna have it just mounted as one for now until I figure out another way to secure it. But I think, I mean, regardless, it should be fine. It's gonna be held in mainly by the hoses that are gonna connect to the lines. For those of you that don't know, this hard line right here is actually the OEM power steering cooler, which um, really it's just a pipe. So what I'm gonna do, instead of completely bypassing it, I'm going to still utilize it as best as I can. So I'm probably gonna cut like close to there, close to there, and then just have my lines for the new power steering cooler come up to those. So I got the lines rounded for my power steering cooler and I need to finalize the mounting. I'm not really, I'm not too set on this tie. We'll see. I'm going to leave that anyway, just in case I need to take out like all the cooling stuff. And it's a lot easier if I have that uh, kind of ready to get out so I can take out the condenser. Also, for those of you that are wondering, the reason I have it so low and kind of behind the intercooler is because the space behind this is all free space, I guess you would say. So if I mounted it kind of towards the middle right here, this brace would basically be blocking it. So I wanted something where the air can actually flow through it. Um, I don't really expect it to make that much of a difference, especially for power steering. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Should be fine. Okay, so got my package from Drift HQ. 
oil filter cap that I'm going to be running is from PMC Motorsports. This is going to thread on to the stock uh, oil filter housing. And the beauty of it is it has some ports that I can use if I ever want to run or when I run an oil temp and oil pressure gauge. You also can use one of these for your oil feed if you ever want to do that in the future. So one of the downsides with uh, something like this for an oil filter cap is if you want to take off the oil filter cap to change your oil for example, you pretty much have to break out your tools to unbolt it, which in my mind, I mean really, the tools, it's not a big deal, um, but I know some people out there might be, uh, I don't know, they, they might see that as a negative, but what other options do you have? Still a nice piece of machine work though. So I decided that this is how I'm going to orient my oil lines. I have 245s coming off of here and like I said, they're going to come down into basically the same hole that the intercooler piping is going through. Around the front, basically into this gap and then I have two fittings that are 90 degree fittings that are going to be facing down and I have two straights that I'm going to have coming off of this because right now my oil lines have 90s on them so I gotta cut those off and I gotta cut these lines to length so that they fit this oil cooler and that'll be done <laughs> Lines are mocked up. Whew. Getting that much closer. So I have a couple more things to button up for the oil cooler. Um, I gotta make sure that there's Teflon tape on the fittings on the, the oil cap. I think it needs Teflon tape, but um, I mean, that's pretty boring stuff. So I'm gonna call this pretty much done for the video. Power steering cooler is also pretty much done. I just gotta finish up the final mounting, which really I don't think I'm gonna find out until uh, really we shake this down but really that means that all we have left to finish the cooling for this car is to put the OEM hoses back on to my Mishimoto radiator if you guys don't know I'm running an OEM replacement Mishimoto aluminum radiator for this car um, hopefully that should be enough to cool the car but regardless I need to get the OEM hoses on and we need to finish the plumbing for the turbo so let's dive right into it As you guys saw, I drilled and tapped a, <clears throat> a hole onto what, what this actually is, is an adapter that you splice into your OEM hose if you want to run an aftermarket coolant temp sensor. But what I did is I took the, whatever, I think it's a eighth inch MPT hole on the top. I went and uh, drilled and tapped for this fitting, which is, I forget what it is. I think it's like a... I'll, I'll, I'll list it right here because this is from um, one of the videos I did a while ago. Anyways, this is a Dash 6AN. So I can use my Dash 6AN and this end will go to the turbo side. Obviously, it needs to cut to length, but you get the gist of it. 
This is the lower radiator hose that is on the passenger side of the E46. Um, so this coupler slash adapter is going to go somewhere in these lines, probably like right there. I think that's probably going to be the best place to put it, but I need to go ahead and verify that. But that's the plan. Let's go ahead and execute it. So it looks like I have an opening right there. So I got a spot right there where I can have the hose come in. So I'm going to cut as close as I can to over here. And that should give me enough room to, I don't know, probably have the hose shoot that way. We'll, we'll see what happens. some space to move this around so let's keep going and there is your finished hose with a coolant temp sensor block in between with your fitting let's get this line made and call it done and line is on water line is cut to length let's put this on water line is on uh, you can barely see it right there it's kind of out of focus right there connected to the turbo goes right along the engine bay and to that water block looks like that is a wrap all right so that is a wrap we got the oil cooler on with the lines with the pmc oil cap we got the power steering cooler on. We got the upper and lower radiator hose connected with the block for the water return. So we are getting that much closer to getting this thing back on the road and drifting again. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.